<laughs> Time for your boy Oscar. <laughs> I could play some. Do we play some? Some Siberia? We could play some Siberia. I do need to go get some more water, though. Yeah. We can definitely play some Siberia. I just need to go grab water. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to go grab some water and we'll continue with some Siberia. <laughs> okay. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I need to refill my water real quick. Time for some Siberia. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let me just get all situated for my switch. <laughs> Hold on. Let me switch things up. Just need to move my... <laughs> I put, so I have like an empty spot on my desk where I was putting all my drinks. Hold on. Oh, I do have like a little bit of water, but I need to move my monitor so I can see you guys and can actually respond better. Switch swituated. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me switch over to my switch. And then it takes like a hundred years for for my switch controller to connect. Actually, let me see which uh, I mean, I do have my other controller, but I don't know. I really like this one. I think because it's like the PS4 kind of style, like I can do the controller where I put like the sides in here. Which is not bad, but I do really like this one. I don't know. The, the whole feel of it and everything. I like it. Plus, it's like the same color of my, as my Switch, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Let me just do that. Come on, connect. It might not switch. Hold on. And then I'm just going to charge it as well because I think it's like halfway once it connects I'll check come on yeah um I think so I think this control ah finally connected I think this controller does PC as well as um, Xbox PS4 and switch i'm pretty sure what is molly doing i just see in the back what <laughs> what was that molly <laughs> she's knocking shit over what is she doing oh my god she has beans beans i tell you i'm gonna move this back more so then there we go <laughs> But yeah, it's actually, hold on, let me get my other controller so, I, so we can compare. Okay, side by side. Whoops. Okay, so this is a side by side. This is like more square. I mean, I don't mind using this at all, but this, I guess they're both kind of equally big. I don't know. I also have really small hands. <laughs> so maybe that's a lie. It seems so big. I don't know. Let me just check the battery life. These are full. These guys are full. This one's halfway. So we're going to use this one. Only because I like it a little bit more. <laughs> She's drinking out of her fountain. I'm thinking of maybe moving the fountain so then you can actually see her drink, but... Like, the fountain is right beside this, s the seamy thing. <laughs> right? It's so square. So square. It's just like, I mean, it's nice, but 
Oh shit, I forgot she's gonna drink in their water. Oh my god, this cat. <laughs> no, no water for you. You have your fountain, okay? Oh, oh, I gotta switch over the game. Hold on a second. Because uh, it's still on raft. Rescuing. Rescuing. Oscar. I think that's how you spell Oscar, right? O S C A R. And we're not playing multiplayer. Yas. Yas. Okay. Continue. Continue in the Siberia world. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. <laughs> okay, so last time. Watch out, Molly. Ah. Sorry. <clears throat> the last time, this dude here, I don't think we got anything Excuse out of him, me. so. Sir, uh, sorry to disturb you, but you who? Can you hear me? Three, two, one. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no. Oh, did he? I think strategy, he didn't want to no give me any information. I could be wrong. Anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military Last time on Soda Pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I need to get to Arrowbad and quick. He should know how to. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. Got to keep an eye <laughs> on them. Tricky job, too, you know. <laughs> All these bottles. Bird. What? Why is there a bird? Okay. So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Oh, right. That's an evil bird. Uh, dumb bird. Man, at least the bird don't get bored, does it? See? They can fly. Them birds. Jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. <laughs> well, maybe you're just right there. Because sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch them circle for hours on end. <laughs> Birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop him coming back, though. <laughs> Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty wings. Mission. Oh, please. Can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Yeah, get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka, tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rocket? Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute, we gotta need a special bottle for a special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff. Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Our, our female comrades... Oh, my God, this guy's a joke. <laughs> Uh-oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. Babushkas. we you guys got uh, sound, right? I think you should be. Yeah. So there should be a switch sound. I heard that maybe you could lend a vehicle. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health. Why you have okay, it. Okay, good. I was going to. I am. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can just put water in there or something like that <laughs> and sober this guy up. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. Wall's getting pretty tight. 
We'll think about that blast off later. <laughs> Are you okay, Colonel? So, so sure far, right? Oscar is still back at the train. He's, mm. he's not tied up anymore, but <laughs> he's still having his train loving time. <laughs> and Be he careful. doesn't have his hands. So, oh, God. That's great. I've got to babysit this guy. I need a key. So that's how we need to get him back up. Great. Okay. So maybe there's something in here. <laughs> Fuck. Great. Just great. Oh, what's in there? Um. Blah blah blah. Who cares about that? Space project cancellation letter. Oh my god. But, um, and then a key. the guy won't give me, he won't give me Oscar's hands back until I help him bring some singer lady to this mine and then so he can put on a show and then I, he'll give me um, Oscar's hands back. I need a key. <laughs> that is a fucking key. Oh, no, that's not. Never mind. Oh, this thing's jammed. Great. Fantastic. Oh, this thing's jammed. How the fuck am I supposed to unjam it? Oh, this thing's... How am I supposed to unjam it? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Whatever that does. Oh. <clears throat> Hold on a sec. Let me go back to over here. It kind of looks like. Okay, never mind. Let me see if that does something. Oh, this thing's jammed. I don't know if it's just me, but these puzzles actually are getting kind of easier knock on wood <laughs> possibly I don't know what it is that I can do here oh god <clears throat> Yeah, Molly's playing this game. <laughs> I love how she... Oh, she didn't like that. <laughs> Have a nice night, Haku. <laughs> ah! Thanks again for Raph. That was a lot of fun. Fun times. I hope you have a good sleep. What is this shit? Oh, this thing's jammed. Why is everything... Jammed? Oh, hold on a sec. Put this key in here, I guess. And this thing's... What do you mean this thing's jammed? Jammed my ass. Like, for some reason... Oh, this thing... There we go. Oh, this thing's... Okay, hold on. Unauthorized procedure. Unauthorized procedure. S Centrifuge empty. Blood sample over. What? What kind of shit is going on here? Oh, this thing's... Oh, 
blood testing apparatus. Okay. Find a way to talk to the drunken man. Okay. Activate the space station console. Obtain a positive blood test. So, how do I use this? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Maybe this does something over here. Maybe I can go over this way. making sure that I can can I go over to this side yes I can okay wow that is a lot of birds so that's a spaceship I guess I should be able to go up over here why do that I want door it? is locked it's locked great That door is locked. Wow. Just when I thought this map was so tiny. Positive blood test. <laughs> hmm. Hold on a second. Okay, let's go down here. Is there something in this old man's house? Let me just double check. And then if not, we're going to go downstairs. Because I feel like there is more things where the bird is. So we will investigate that. Okay. So let's go down these steps and go to the loud, obnoxious bird. Let's see what was over here. That's going to work. What was that? If that's going to work. Hmm. Is there something down here that I missed? go over here. No. <clears throat> I'm just going to backtrack just a little bit. I don't think, yeah, I don't think anything back there. So it's just going to all be up here, I think. <clears throat> Maybe I can use the screwdriver to unjam it.
scared me. There we go. Ah ha ha. I just don't understand where I'm supposed to take this old man. This thing's Oh, okay, that's what that water is. Okay, hold on. So we go back over here. Oops, wrong way. And then we go forward. Forward. And then we drop the water on him. There we go. Hey, what's happening? There's water you got there. Stop it. Now. You want me to drown? Yep. Okay, now we should be able to talk to him. <laughs> talk some sense in this guy. Calm down, it's all right. Just a little wake-up call, that's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you right there. Not the first time, either. Probably won't be the last. Man, my head. Please, could you whisper? Please, do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. <laughs> yep. Do you think the airship still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. And then I've got to learn how to use it, too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic pilot. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Huh? Airship key. Thanks. I came here by train, but unfortunately it broke down. I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? Who might that someone be? I hope you're not talking about Sergei Borodin. Well, <laughs> yes, I am. The director of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous he suggested I come and see you actually but <laughs> I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you either I don't care what he thinks of me all I say to you is watch out for him. there aren't many vehicles on this base when they decided to close the Cosmodrome they towed all the useful equipment away it doesn't matter I'll find some other way if I can help you please just ask um Give us... Thank you so much for helping me. I'm sorry to have woken you up like that. It's been great talking to you, ma'am. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. Uh, sir? Uh, My head. My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer currently in charge of a special case. I'll spare you the details, but I've landed here, you see, unintentionally. It is indeed an honor to welcome you here to the Cosmodrome, ma'am. My name is Colonel Boris Sharoff. I'm a Red Army test pilot reject. And now I babysit the Kumkalsgrad space complex. I don't want to miss an any... This is complex. For, or like... Shame it's a little run down. What do you expect? <laughs> space race I don't want to miss any dialogues. The way it is. In case I screw up. News with... one minute, history the next. Right, I'm off. See you later. Oh, maybe. Don't actually, hold on a second. Sir? He might know about the birds. Don't you find it strange to see so many birds in the Cosmodrome? It's the Iron Rafters. They love them. Nowadays, they can enjoy a bit of good old peace and quiet here. So, of course, they turn up in flock loads. <laughs> Sometimes I said Soyuz onto them. Just like the good old days. Soyuz? 
Soyuz is the last Golden Eagle left in active service. We had to get the dumb canaries out of the way before takeoff, so what did we do? Set the eagle on them. And you should see them fly. Soyuz, he's like a cat among the pigeons. Oh, that's that, that bird that is really loud downstairs. Right, I'm off. See you later. Don't you worry about me. Okay. So. I think the key is... For this thing? Airship key. If that's going to what? No. Activate the space station console. Oh shit. Oh no, it's up here. Over this way. And then I probably have to talk to him about getting rid of the birds. Because I think it's over this way. We open this thing. It could be wrong. That's what I'm guessing the key's for. Yes. Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that. So I guess we do have to go over here. But how do we get a blood sample? That's what I want to know. Oh. Ah, uh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've managed to trigger the autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Mm, let me. I've got uh, some idea. But you look like you're a pretty good mechanic. Mm. Let's just say that since the start of the journey, I've managed to get by and get to know Hans Varlberg's strange contraptions. Okay. I have a deal to make with you. I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. And I've always said that one of these days I'm going to the stars on that flying wing. And I'd better make that trip before vodka stews my brain. But I gotta know how it works. And you look like you might have some clue at least. If you could help me get to the stars, I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal? Hmm. Why not? I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. What are you tinkering with? Why is it taking so long? Just a bit longer, if you can. I'm sorry, I just couldn't wait. Put yourself in my shoes. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. What am I supposed to do? I guess this is the clue? I don't know. To go over here, maybe? How do I get what? Oh, hold on a second. Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? To get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. It won't hurt. There's two things a good soldier is always ready to do. Drop his pants and spill his blood. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. My pleasure, ma'am. Okay. Ow! Nice. Okay, so now we can take this. Ew, his bump butt crack. Take this over here. Throw that in there. And then we can go. Oh, whoops. Hold on a sec. Uh, 
alcohol. Blood alcohol too high. Great. Yeah, that's right. Use your own. Okay. Okay. I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. What is happening? Colonel, are you all right? Never been better. Head's spinning a bit, but I am used to that. I'm a professional pilot. Oh my god. Okay. So now the last button. Uh, clear as smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Colonel, <laughs> you've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. What do I have to do? The airship will need to be right up. Nice. <laughs> so random. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have liftoff. <clears throat> okay, so he's gone. Now we go down here. He must have thrown. I think he threw something. Didn't he not? Didn't he throw something? Ugh. Right. It's so annoying, this bird. Oh my god. I thought, didn't he throw something when he was on the ship? He was like, almost seemed like he like threw a coin or something down. Didn't it seem that way? It needs to be cranked. I thought he threw something on the ground. Didn't he? Huh. Okay, well, let's just try and see if we can crank it. Because there was cranks there. Doesn't look like that work. See, there's cranks there though. That's what I don't understand. Take the crank angle. So there is a. Okay, so it's somewhere on this ground. I can't see it or something. I don't know. It almost kind of looks like. Oops. Behind the missiles? Ooh, maybe. Hold on. That's over here, right? Doesn't seem like I can run over there.
Is this one of those things where it's like... I hate that it like restarts every time I go into this part. Where's the crank handle? The fuck? Like it almost kind of looks like this thing over there is a crank handle, but then whenever I go close, it like takes me out. Take the crank handle. I don't see it. Unless it's... I don't think so. Back over here? Did he really throw it that far this way? No. Maybe it's just in front of here. Oh my god, that bird needs to die. That bird needs to... I'm almost kind of tempted to just look... <laughs> look up the location. What the hell? I've, like, checked every inch of this map. Is it over by this thing? Further behind something. And that's as far... Oh, maybe. Um, only thing I can think of is... Over here, maybe? By this... If I stay close here, no, that doesn't do it. Or it doesn't make sense to go over here. No. The only thing, uh, if, I's, if I can go like behind these missiles. Okay. Let's try the other side. Okay, let's try the next screen. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so that's the way we came. So we have to like investigate. Is this one of those stupid things where, like, same with, like, the... Like, the chain on the ground in the train station was really hard to grab. Okay, unless it's over here. I don't see why it would be all the way over here, though. No, I can't go that way. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but that's not even that... F like, how did he... Oh my god. Okay, so now let's go up here. I'm assuming this is what the what the crank is for. This is the only thing I can think of. Okay, and then that thing is gonna scare away all the other birds. 
I'm assuming. sandwich yummy mmm that sounds so good dragon okay so then we go back over here that should be enough crank to which side is it I think it's this side I love Burger King Love it so much. There we go. Off to the next map. <laughs> So I think there's two more maps after this. I could be wrong. Do you think we'll get through it all tonight? Maybe. I could see how this could be so nostalgic. I like this. I've never even played this game, but. No, I haven't. What is it about? It's so pretty. Okay. So, get out. Find Helen. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Morrison. We all do. Story based Down game, the but ground, it's done we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. PG stuff. Kate, I don't think <laughs> you checks for certain dialogue. Oh. Universal toys are on my back and digging Let me in. Take a look at this after. Them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. <gasps> Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A priority numero uno. Hot. I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You want to stand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Oh my god, I know what I'm going to be playing soon. Oh god. Death Stranding, De Death Stranding's uh, director cut just came out. Yes, I love Death Stranding so much. Okay, so it's called Disco. How do you even say that? Elysium? Elysium? Oh, but there's like a story to it, right? Oh, that looks so interesting. Absolute, become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. The Final Cut is a groundbreaking role-playing game. You're a detective with a unique skill system at your disposal in a whole city to carve your path across. Interrogate unforgettable characters, crack murders, or take bribes. And it's got this cool time for... Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, it's only 15 bucks. That's not bad at all. Does anyone know with the bundles, does that mean that it's like the same, the same people that make 
get... Is that why? Do we know? Okay. Oh, wow, it is. It's on sale, too. Nice. Oh, so cool. Having oh, the time only progresses when you're having conversations with people, so you have a certain amount of dialogue time in a day. Ooh, that is so cool. I don't think I've played a game like that. That's neat. I like that. Oh, some bundles can be made up by the same peeps. Some could be games that are similar. I see. That makes sense. I guess, like, Steam puts the bundles together, right? I would assume. Okay, so I can go in there. I feel like I need to... I'm having, like, a really good success rate when I investigate... Instead of just going straight into some bo somewhere, I'm assuming I can go that way too, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with this. We know we can go out there. Because then... I think that's what happened last time. I just... Because the f first map, I investigated everything of where I could go and I couldn't go. Then the bird map, the second map, I just kind of like didn't go everywhere. And that was my biggest flaw. Good but morning, sir. that other map was pretty good. Did good a day, good job. Ma and welcome to the Hotel Kotsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with a sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am. But my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let Are me just say me? that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger. You hear? Shit. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please, I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. <laughs> So, please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, <laughs> No, it's not. It's like a Helen or something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm probably just going to do Arabald. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great... Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. At your this side, is a uh, human, human Oscar. <laughs> okay, find Helen, attract the butler outside. So this guy we got to attract outside. Somehow. Can I just, like, walk through here? Why can't I just... Locked. The door's locked. Okay. It's that detergent... Oh, put the soap in the fountain. Put the lime and the coconut. Molly, I don't need your tail in my face. Thank you. I <laughs> got his hands off just the same. Yeah, that would work. Then he couldn't catch me if I did anything bad like this. <laughs> yes. Okay, so go back in here. Sir, your fountain, um... Oh yeah, because I gotta get back there and steal some shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. 
Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. She's Why she's like always climbing no over everywhere. Like that, <laughs> just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, man, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt. If you get my drift. Yeah, of course. What kind well, of <coughs> again, what kind of cat do you have? And hospitality. Okay. I'm sorry to disturb you again. Don't even. Why are you? No reason. Like that. Yeah, of course. Uh, how do I get you out there, though? Oh, that sounds important. Hotel brochure. What? You're not gonna? Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, let's try and talk to him again. You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Domestic long hair, super friendly orange fluff ball. Oh, nice. I love orange cats. They're so friendly. <laughs> nice. Got rid of that guy. Yeah. Blow in the tip of Molly's ear? Like that? <laughs> I don't need to do that. Okay, what do I need to do, though? Oh, maybe go in here. Yeah. Steal some shit. Yeah. Let me in. What's her name again? <laughs> Helen. 1270. 1270. Helen Romanski, 1270. Okay, 1270, 1270. Oh my god. Just want to make sure I got everything. Okay. Can I phone her right away? Let me in. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, okay, that's just the closet. Let me in. <gasps> Animatron. Hello. Hello there. Good afternoon, Miss. <gasps> it's Oscar Are you two point oh. <laughs> My name is James, Miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry, I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at five o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Okay. So... What is that? Be on the, oh. Why can I go this way? Why is that a thing? Oh, here we go. Hold on a second. Maybe I can try and go 1270. Darn it! That doesn't work. Just as I thought. Okay. So that doesn't open that. <laughs> Robot romance. 
<laughs> okay. Oh man, this is a big map. Oh my god, this guy. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless what? I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, 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 check in two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you. Oh, anymore. they're playing chess. Oh my god, I didn't see the chess board. I was like, what is happening? Whatever that does. Find the door that was opened with the code. Okay, yes, we already established that. Okay, we made full circle. So I think we can go through here. Oh no, we did go through there. Hold on. Can I go down this hallway? I guess so. Yeah. Oh shit, she's stealing shit now. <laughs> they had a thing. That's what it sounded like. That was very disturbing. Okay. I was like, squeeze your queen where? And slide where? Okay, that's a doorway. Oh, there's a card on the ground. Hold on. Can I? Yeah. Temporary code. Oh, okay. Nice. That must be to get out that door. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Run full circle. The long con. She pretends to be a detective still coloring glassware. Yes. <laughs> that thief. No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that glass would probably back in the day. That would be probably a pretty penny. Hold on a sec. I think I can just go down this way. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so what was the code? Mm, 0968. 0968. Nice. Okay, through there. What is that? Gas mask? Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't want to smell Helen's farts, that's for sure. Okay, can't go that way. <laughs> Leave the towels, take the silverware. Exactly, Shintai. <laughs> Priorities. Oh, there's Helen there. Okay. Good, 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 good. Why does it seem like I can ring this bell if possible? Oh. If that's going to work. If that's going to work. Huh. Let's see what this. <laughs> Madame Romansky? Madame Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of 
Frank Malkovich. Oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel must have a pinch, so I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. Okay, we have to go get the guy in the wheelchair. Oh, here we go. You! Back here again! How dare you show your damn face back here! Get out of here immediately! <gasps> the bell's Please. back! I absolutely must find... Miss Romanski! Oh, yes. I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Rubensky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smithana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, <laughs> Madam Romanski. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. Bye bye, Felix. Bye, Oscar. <laughs> Finally, someone has balls around here. <laughs> okay, so we have to go get her valet. <laughs> I'm assuming I didn't have to talk to her. I hope I didn't have to talk to her after that. No point, Wang. Oh. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. <laughs> Metaphorical balls, not actual balls. <laughs> Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not oh, like at this time. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season, I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double curve of action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. <laughs> no. I'll stay here and make ready for madame, in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable. Such violent swings of mood. I'm looking for Madame Roman. Okay. To four th Is it possible? As you wish. Train. Okay. While I'm going, Jane. It would be a So maybe I can actually talk to her. Shit, I should have maybe talked to her. But isn't that her valet, though? The fuck is that shit? I can't stop the weather. How am I supposed to get that guy out there? Okay, let's talk to her one more time. Maybe I can tell her that her valet is a pain in the butt and won't go out here. Can I go over here? Oh yeah, oh no. It almost kind of looks like I can. Shit, I'm stuck. Uh. Oh no, don't say that. I don't want her to vanish. <laughs> oh, thank God she's still there. 
the bell apparently is Romansky? is uh, so magic. Is James <laughs> isn't he? Don't tell me you haven't caught him yet. Oh my poor head. Please ring for my valet. We will continue this conversation inside. Hmm? Okay. So how am I supposed to ring? That's going to that doesn't work. If that's going What am I missing? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. If that's going to Can I Oh, there we go. Why can I take that bell off then? Taking the bell, anyways. Or maybe not. <laughs> Come on now! <laughs> Secret fried chicken recipe. <laughs> Madam Romansky. So, is James coming? Oh my god. Are they just gonna leave her high and dry? That's going to work. That's going to the fuck is this shit? It's not coming. Maybe I'll I will deliver the bell to James and be like, James, listen. Helen wants you to <laughs> stop being lazy and who cares about the salt and get your ass out here. Meow. Oh my god, this old lady. No point weighing. Okay, I get it, I get it. James? James, where are you? I've rung for you several times. Madame Romansky wants you to bring her back inside. Several times, you say? Are you sure? I didn't hear anything. That's are you right, kidding several me? Several times. Quick, go and get her. This really is most tiresome, miss. If the bell really hasn't rung, then I'm going out for nothing. It's the salt wind. Too much and it'll play havoc with my insides. If you don't mind, I'm going to wait for the bell to ring again. Madam Romansky isn't oh. going to like it. Don't worry, you get used to it. Are you kidding me? James? Several. That's right. This. Madam Rom. Don't worry. What the hell? Okay, so there has to be something so then I can put the bell just like over here or something. Oh my god, so annoying. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, right there. I don't need to do that. Okay. I don't need to do that. Okay, okay, we get it. I just you're it's so finicky. There we go. Oh my god, these machines are so frustrating. Are you kidding me? What? Where is this guy? Did he not hear the first time? You gotta be joking. No point weighing myself down. You gotta be joking, <laughs> What the fuck is this? James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, 
Yeah. Oh it my is a god. Bit dirty, but what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Get your ass over there. Oh my god, I just slap this. So, have you met her yet? Robot. Helena person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mom. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arrowbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arrowbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? <laughs> Not yet. Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home? Tell your boss this air just doesn't exist. That you've done all you can. Et voila. Do you want me to call him for you? Ma, please, don't get involved. <laughs> Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> okay. There's this lady now. Now we can talk to her. And hopefully convince her and she doesn't need a massive mission. Oh fuck, you gotta be kidding me. She wants a drink probably. No point weighing myself. No point weighing What am I doing down here? I don't need to use this console. How am I supposed to talk to her? Oh, that's why. Okay. What? Excuse me? Hello? Hello? No point, Wang. No point weighing. What is happening? No point. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God! It's oh, final. Honor to meet you, Madame Romanski. Uh, me so this game. <laughs> Oh man, they were just staring at me. That was so awkward. Of course. <laughs> Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. And their heads are how just like watching. The greatest singers of the century. Me like run around. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. Nope. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin. Director of the Comcalls grad. Oops. Oops. Sorry. S. Or not. Doesn't want me to connect. That's cool. There we go. Industrial complex situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. What am I saying? They all wear. There's <laughs> something to hide. This Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my throat. Oh. Aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, 
You are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet, but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. And I can tell you, singing is something I did in the past. Oh my god. Okay, well, I need help, Madam Romansky, please understand, I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear. But my health is failing me, as does my voice. Well, how you about we have a recording voice. and you just lip sing? You must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theaters around the world. I'm <laughs> by kings and Voices like, like a body as well. Men Confused, would seek smelling oddly of Taco Bell. No <laughs> My voice yeah, I just, um, I give off this hearts. Burger King smell. <laughs> My blood is surprised. Burger King. <laughs> then one and poutine. I <laughs> convinced the robot. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health. No, that would be too much work for him. <laughs> get in the van. <laughs> Let's go. But you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. Okay. I'll let you get a bit of rest. Thank you for listening to me. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. Okay, so... I don't need to use... So, can I not convince her? It's a real her? honor to me. Mm. Of course. Everyone... Ah, so I was. Okay. Oh, you are too late, my child. Ten years too late. And how is dear Frank? Do tell me. Oh, I am still angry with him for leaving like that to America. Don't be offended, but I never suspected those cowboys actually have an ear for real music. Like I said, I'm a lawyer, and to tell you the truth, I don't know much about classical music. But after talking to Mr. Borodin and Mr. Malkovich, they really made me want to hear you. Oh, his love. <laughs> Do you hear that, James? There is someone who still loves me on the other side of the Atlantic. I don't think he sings much anymore. The odd gala, the odd charity event. Anyway, he sends his love. What about this other gentleman? What is his name? Borodin? Do I know him? Yes. You once sang in Komkalsgrad. An incredible recital, if the director's account is anything to go by. If you only knew how moved he still is. He's another one who still adores you. I must confess that seeing one of my greatest admirers once more would do wonders for me, but... Ah, oh, my voice. It is so... Ah, uh, I couldn't. How I'll about... Get a bit of rest. You know what? It was air. You know what we need to do? We are going to... Make her a drink. No point when... No point when... Can we put vodka? <laughs> no point weighing. No point weighing myself in her drink. No point. No point. I don't need to use this. Hmm. Okay. Hold on a second. Is there something that I can give letters to Helen? Ah, yes, it's a this. real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. Oh, dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. Sing? Oh, my. Oh, aren't you? Oh. I'll let you get a bit of. It was. Letters to Helen. I can't 
give that to... Oh, here we go. Maybe I can give this to her. It's a real honor to meet you. Mm, of course. Uh, Madame Ormet, I understand. You must have had a fan. Ah, my... I'm not surprised. Then what? But you look... Oh, oh you Oops, are... Oops, I didn't like mean to. A... Oh, I don't think you... What about... Yes. I must... Oh, no, the train. Look, please. You absolutely have to come with me to Kometalsgrad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. Your train? That's right. I've been traveling on this amazing locomotive with this automaton engineer. He isn't a million light years away from your James. Mm, do you hear that, James? And automaton? You have a twin brother? How delightful. And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar butler. Oh, God. Oscar is something else. Surprise, madam. Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees my uniqueness. <laughs> Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to stay with the train in Kamkalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How quaint. Another automaton. And this one, can you even play along with me? Play for me? Ah, oh, why does my voice abandon me so now? Okay. Madame Romansky, please understand. I understand. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pro Okay. Find and talk to Helena Bohans. It's a real honor. Oh, mm. shit. Of course. Ah. Uh. Strange. I get the impression that Hans Vorarlberg turned up here, too. You know Hans Vorarlberg? Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him. Oh my god, you? this is so oh, much voice. Yes. I knew Hans Vorarlberg. Do you hear, James? Ah, oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh my god. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, if only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December, and it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented, a strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. 
He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. I'll let you get a bit of rest. How am I Eat supposed to do that? Who the hell is George? Call George the barman. Hotel. <laughs> Hello, Hotel Moritz? The reception here, can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with <laughs> Hello, hotel bar? Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. This George, is? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, no one to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see old George? Now, he knew a lot of cocktails, one hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly... Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah, the Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco. Well, Blue probably Helena, the Deep Green Blue Secret. Mambo. Helena, yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's vodka, see. Blue Caraco. One measure of vodka, one measure of Blue Caraco, one measure of honey, a honey, dash of lime and ice cubes. ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. Vodka? You have been most helpful to me. Oh, shit. Okay, good thing we have that vodka. Okay. Where's blue carousel? I wonder how that works. Oh, God. What was it? It was... Crystallized honey, lemon, crystal. I wonder how that. I wonder how. I wonder how. Okay, we get it. We get it. So turn it on. Okay. I wonder how that. Put that in there. Then put the lemon over there. Oh my god, blue carousel. What? What does that say? I wonder how that... Oh god, I don't need that. Hold on. One... Two, three, four, five. Did I do that right? Yikes. No. My From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison? It's, uh, that is impossible. The blue Helena hit. Right. Okay. Okay, vodka needs to go there. That's what needs to happen. Okay. So, I think it was five, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Lime juice.
What's this? It doesn't work. Okay. Let's try that. I think that's it. No. It's a. What is that? Right. What does it say to... Ah, musical score. Okay, hold on a sec. Read. One, two, three, four... Oh, five? Would it be five? I have no idea how to read this. Oh, we need vodka too. Okay, hold on. Okay, so maybe f five and then three. Oh, God. One, two. Hold on a sec. First of all, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Two, three. Need an ice cube and the lemon and shake it up. Okay, that should be it. Did you find this potion? Okay. Are you trying to poison me? It's a, a, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was like an, an, an aroma, like, um, you understand? Its texture was not quite so... Um, one thing is for certain. This is no blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. Uh, okay. Dash lime, add ice cubes. Okay, measure vodka. In other words, one ounce of vodka, one blue croco, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You got the bottle, lime, honey. Okay, so... So, activate the machine, press the on button, we did that, then look at the previous roll that reduced the expiration of the bottles. Okay. Base notes. Oh. From the left. Two from the left. Okay, so do vodka. Vodka. So I was right. And then go to number three piano from the left. Now push the honeycomb to add. Honeycomb. Tie the liquid honey right side. Push the honeycomb. Huh? To add the liquid honey. Oh, right. It doesn't work. Why wouldn't, wouldn't I be able to? Oh, cause we gotta get the, 
we have to heat up the okay hold on okay run around to the hot tub and then we'll do the then we'll do it Okay, this makes sense now. Okay, so now we go over here, <laughs> put the honey back over here, throw it in here, throw it in the top. <sighs> can I just do the honey? I'm just going to guess I can just go honey then. Then lemon. Then ice cubes. Then ice cubes. I'm hoping it didn't reset, but it might have reset. It might have reset, and I might have to redo that. Yes, we did it. My voice. That is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a Puny, but that's oh my voice. god, this old lady. The performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back. Hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, nice. be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. <laughs> what? The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and... Oh, nice, nice, yes. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. Yes, you can, because you can do it the now. The blue Helena really does. I am not. I tell you, my. I. Ah. Uh. Can I just like put this somewhere? There we go. Sing now. My voice. Oh, nice. God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice! My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you'll have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. 
Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an <laughs> it's integral CP part of my action CPPO. functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As I this guy, this, this guy reminds me Do I understand you. correctly that you're going to go with me to come calls grab? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. One, two, James, three, four. Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick, quick. What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Yes, Shut we're so up, close James, to the end, I think. Put your foot on it. Let's go. Okay, so we must be done here at least. I wonder what's over here though. Why were we able to go this way? Oh, I wonder if we're gonna come through here on our way back. Maybe to drop her off. We'll take her on the train, maybe? Yeah, I would assume we'll probably be taking her through here and then we would wind up again and then go. Ha ha ha, this is good to know. Okay, so I'm hoping that they'll just be here waiting for me. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that romance sweet chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? Oh, my God. You didn't answer my question, that's so unlike <gasps> you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, she I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Slept with Olivia. Tell with me her what's going fiance. On. Dan. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? <sighs> I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. <gasps> oh what? my God! After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We're a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nice time. Oh nightcap, my God! Then, okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. I could never tell you that I've had the hot for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to What die. a horrible friend. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Automaton or something? Kate, please. I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. What a biatch. That is some friend. That is so shitty. So shitty. Oh my god, I can't believe that.
this game is loving this game. Wow, <gasps> that guy's so creepy. Oh my god, is that gonna land on her? Watch it be a cage. Fuck, it's a cage. I knew it. Great. You gotta be kidding me. Kate, help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there. And I'm gonna find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madam Romansky. You can trust me. Can I just... This lock looks fair. Can I just hate that it just disconnected? Two minutes ago. Okay, I don't see why I can't just exit it this way. It's funny because I think everybody's stream. I'm pretty sure everyone's stream just like disconnected. Twitch just buggered out. How dare it! Stream is back. That looks like a vent. What I don't understand. Oh, he. What an ass. Why can't I just go out this way? <laughs> the way that I came in. A bomb! Oh, that's great. What the hell? This guy is crazy. I still have my screwdriver, which is good. Ventilation system. I should be able to maybe... Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. No, actually, I had today off, which was kind of nice. What is happening? What is that? <laughs> no poutine. Hello? Sad face. Kate, hi, it's me, Dan. 
But are you all right? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Yeah, I don't understand the thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. Listen, what a dick. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Uh-oh. Nothing to say? Oh, sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. Uh, so I, I work at a done. restaurant, Maybe and I have to we have poutines there. I pushed you into Olivia's arms. But we have a whole bunch I'm of well Armenians, massive. Far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. What an asshole. This guy's a dick. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, um... Letters to Juliet. Oh, maybe we should talk to her. Do we have to talk to her? What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Why is the train not moving? That is a, is a problem. Where's Oscar? Oscar, where are you? It's funny, so I went to McDonald's today and I was wondering why I wanted to go to McDonald's to get a poutine, but they didn't have any. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, find a bomb and destroy the giant. What the hell? How am I supposed to get a bomb? I know, but it's still better than nothing. <laughs> I don't like the McDonald's fries just plain. They're okay, but nah. It really is a simulated poutine, but it's still really good. That's going to work. Maybe I can go over here. Go in through here. No need to go down. They're they're good when they're nice and fresh. McDonald's fries are good when they're nice and fresh. Where the hell am I supposed to find a bone? Maybe I have to go back down there. Oh, here we go. Here's a bomb right here. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> so random. I feel like we are close to the end of this game, so I don't want to stop, <laughs> even though I thought maybe I'd only go for two hours after, but we'll see here. Okay. Run! 
Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Message received. Full steam ahead! Explosion! <laughs> bye bye. Drop off the old lady. Bye bye. Wind up again. Oh, just run over here. Run over here. <laughs> you okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on. Oh my grabbing. god. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice <laughs> warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Okay. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Kate Walker. Let's wind up and let's go. Time to go. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait! No! Wait. Don't go yet! Go away, old butler! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our Are they really? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why, what would make them taste better? A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took his music is louder than their the voices. On, you see, and, uh, <laughs> and there it was on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. What? I have to go and get it. Why didn't you bring it out to me, you? Self. Um, I don't think I can. Oh, maybe there's a sound option. Hold on. Or not. Oh, here we go. I wonder it I find like there perfect is that better now I won't have to read what can I do for you, ma'am? Where's the package? There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. I've come to pick up my parcel. Oh, there we go. It's waiting for you there on the counter, miss. Oh, thank you. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. See you again, Miss Walker. 
Where? Where's my package? Oh, there. Oh, Mammoth Automation. That's kind of cool. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No but, Walker. You're looking for a senile old freak and you're making heavy weather of it. <laughs> you know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumble jumble. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. <laughs> That's awesome. Do what he does to you. Hello, reception here. Felix Masano at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. You know you're getting close to the end. I always find when you're starting to get close to the end, there's more and more cutscenes. I could be wrong. Madam Romanski, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Conco's grad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Ah. Oh. He coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I wrote him. God do, do, alone do. knows where he is today. The plane <laughs> with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. What? I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. So, I think I have to go out the front. I'm having... I have a feeling that we are at the end of this. So... I'm going to stick it through, but I'm going to, if it goes on for a little longer, I might have to run to the washroom quick and go pee. <laughs> okay. Cause all that water is catching up with me. I am outside. Oh, maybe out front. 
or maybe oh, hold on outside as in over by the pier that's what I'm gonna think shit I don't need to do that again. Oh, okay, never mind. So maybe it is by the train station then. Okay, hold on. Unless I need, hold on. I don't want to run around. Let me just check the door because maybe I don't need to use that mask again. Maybe that's what she means. Yeah. <gasps> Good morning, sir. Mr. Varlberg? Hans Varlberg? You brought the train then. Oh my that's god, that's great. him! Mr. Varlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Varlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me the automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? Oh, thank God. I'll do some loop de loopals. I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, you you're Mr. right. Barberg, and let me wish you a very pleasant journey. <laughs> Signing doesn't count. <laughs> yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract <laughs> yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport, Kate. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. Absolute terrible Stop lawyer. But yours. she'd probably be better adventurous. Thank you. <laughs> You're too kind. Oh my god. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those <laughs> papers, huh? <laughs> that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. A notary. Are you coming? Imagine. Oh, don't say that. No, that really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really. I mean, maybe there's. 
It's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? Are they really, though? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate. Can I choose? Yes. See you I think later, he's Mr. shrunken in age. <laughs> Your job so you can stay home and have babies anyways no don't say that danny cheated on me anyways so he can suck it absolutely suck it <laughs> oops oh go on the train already you know you want to your life sucks back in New York. That's right. Run! Run! Jump on that train! You can make it. Nice. That was so good. So good. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I really like that. <laughs> so I do have the second one and the third one. Um, but I think I think the fourth one is out now. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna play Siberia too. Not right now, not tonight. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she literally stole the documents. Well, maybe she can mail them out and she can be like, tough luck, you're gonna have to wait a week till you get them, but. Definitely gonna be playing Siberia too. I think I'm gonna take a break, play something in between, and then go to Siberia too. Definitely gonna play it. But. I just need... Why did that do that? That was a weird transition. <laughs> Dafty! Hello, how are you? <laughs> That's why she had to escape, you know? Run away with the papers. Escape while she could. But yeah, I... I have a couple of games, like probably a couple like t two hour games or something to play in between or I don't know, maybe we'll play something to shake things up, but we're definitely going to play Siberia too. Not, not like right afterwards, but <laughs> how you remind me, how you remind me, is that a song? All righty. Um, we are going to raid somebody though. Just have to see. So tomorrow is Phasophobia. I'll be playing Phasophobia after work. And the rest of the week, I'm not quite sure because I'm, I work this weekend and it's going to be a hell of a ride because I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's all like closing bar shifts. So I'll be there. <laughs> till the end not so much on thursday and sunday but i have a feeling i might be wiped <laughs> i'm hoping to maybe stream on sunday but we'll see i don't know definitely be streaming for phasophobia tomorrow but i don't know about the rest of the week nickelback oh my god no so i i ended up getting siberia on sale on the switch and because it looked really good and then i noticed i looked on steam and i was like oh, because i think siberia was on sale on steam as well and then i ended up getting the third one on steam because then i started looking to see how many there were and i already got one and two and i couldn't get three on the switch so that's why i have the third one on my computer and uh, then I noticed that 
the fourth one was coming out, but it wasn't out bef- like it wasn't out yet. So, but we're definitely going to be, I think I, did I get it already? I don't think I have the fourth one yet. Yeah, I don't have the fourth one yet. I think it like literally just came out. Hold on. Let me move my cat. <laughs> yeah, it literally just came out. So I will be playing it, but not for a little bit because I want to get through the second one, the third one, and then I still have to purchase the fourth one. which I'll probably get once I'm done the third one <laughs> or who knows I have it I have it on my wish wish list and to let I me mean, I don't think it's going to go on sale anytime soon but we'll see oh yeah that would probably make sense why they had the sale it was like a couple couple months ago I think the sale was a couple months ago I can't but <laughs> Who is still streaming? Let's take a little looky doodle. Oh my goodness. And here's me saying I wasn't going to have another late night. Wow. Okay. We are going to raid Crescent Blaze because he is playing. Excuse me. What are you doing? That cord did nothing to you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I got distracted. <laughs> I know. Well, because I know. Hey, don't chew it. I know um, Haku doesn't play that late. And I was like, oh, like, you know, 12 o'clock. Oh, fuck. My keyboard changed over to. Hold on a second. Bear with me. I can't get a slash because my keyboard was not in. It was in bilingual and suddenly I'm French. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, anyway, sorry, what was I? Stop doing that. <laughs> sorry, this is so hectic. This, like, <laughs> stop that. She has beans in her right now. <laughs> She's, like, chewing on my cord. Uh, but, yeah, and then, because Haku plays till, like, 12. And I was like, oh, that's okay. Like, I'll end. But then, but then I blame it on Shintai. He was like, are you going to be playing Siberia? And I was like, oh, that is such a good idea horrible but good idea so that's how we ended up playing Siberia so um Molly stop doing that stop stop chewing the thing <laughs> I know it's because it's like this is her her witching hour so she's just she's just going crazy like earlier I she was pissed at me absolutely pissed ow stop <laughs> and uh what did I do? Oh, she was just cr like, she wanted me to pet her, but she was also very angry at me. And so, and I kind of, I, I figured she was angry at me and <laughs> just like frustrated. I think she was just frustrated. So I went to look, go like, go like this to her hand. And then she started going Meow, and started smacking me. Oh my God. She's, we have a love hate relationship. <laughs> I know I do so much I keep accumulating stuff that's my problem I have looked back at my <laughs> at my streams and when I first started it was so bare absolutely bare and then slowly as I've gone <laughs> into streaming I'm like hey that is kind of cool or hey people like give me things to put like this this was given to me um the alien was what else uh, oh, I bought this off of TikTok because I thought this was super cool. And then I was like, hey, that would be cool in the background. Um, what else? Oh, I got this. This actually came from Mexico. Not that I got this from Mexico, but this was hand painted and I love skulls. As everyone knows, I love human skulls. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a lot going on. <laughs> Oh, well, someone had like a small business and I thought their light was so cool. It's a uh, light that you 
they like made with the 3D printer and then they put um, RBG lights all inside. So I do have sun. He does have sunglasses. I don't know where the sunglasses are. I think they kind of fell off, but yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. What is she doing? Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you in Crescent's Blaze's Crescent Blaze's stream. <laughs> and uh, we will check out Elden Ring because it's one of the games that I'm scared to play. And I think is a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun, but I'm too scared to play it. Anyways, <laughs> good night, Dragon. Good night, Joy. I will see you hopefully tomorrow maybe if you guys stop by but thank you for hanging out with me tonight and uh i hope you have a good sleep or a good rest of your night <laughs> and